is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman and today's video is one dedicated to a really good friend of mine actually she's well you can probably all relate she's a really busy mum got her children around at the same time as she's trying to work she's going on holiday and she's just got no time to look for anything so I said I would help her out and I've done so by selecting well I selected about 10 white dresses for her to be honest so while she's busy choosing kindly allowed me to do a video for you and show you the ones that I chose for her. Now an add-on to that is that I'm also going to talk to you about what type of shoes to pair with what type of dress. It's very easy when you get to a certain age to look more mumsy rather than Hate the word but yummy mummy we can really age ourselves quite badly i'm going to try and explain that to you as well as we go along so let's get started my jewelry is all from monica vinader and i have a 25 percent discount code for you i'll show you what i'm wearing just now before i get into the video and then i don't have to stop the video to show you Okay, so a lot of you will probably recognise this big pendant that I've got on my bracelet here from what I usually wear around my neck. But because we're all in white today, I thought I would change it up. Pearl pendant from my necklace and put it on my neck and obviously the bigger pendant and put it on my arm there. So, so what that has left is this really nice, delicate necklace here which I think just goes really quite nicely. I, I do have as well a really nice pearl bracelet but I've lent it to my mom and so I can't show you but I'll put a picture up of that now and that's just a finer necklace there that I have got on just to layer it up a little bit. I'm really enjoying sort of the finer gold at the moment just a little bit more delicate so that's what I love about Monica Vinader actually you can always sort of swap it around and make it a little bit more interesting depending on what your outfit is like. So the first dress I'm wearing is this one from Mango. It is a hundred percent linen. It's got a lining inside, a really thin cotton lining which means um, you, you won't sweat or anything in it. It feels beautiful on and I think this is going to be really good for most body shapes. If you can wear a belt and you can put it either right underneath your bust or by finding your smallest part here, then this is going to be a great dress. Look how far it comes down on the arms. I know a lot of you ask me about staying cool in the summer but not showing your arms. This is great because they're so much bigger and wider than your arm, your arm sticking out is going to look smaller. I've left the buttons quite undone, not because I particularly like my legs or anything, but the difference of flashing a little bit of leg like that versus closing it up. See, when it's closed up, it could, because I'm only small, it could look quite overpowering because you can't see a lot of my skin going on. So if you're short and you feel like it's a little bit bigger and heavier, just open these areas up. Show, oh, sorry, my bracelet is really jangling. Um, show some flesh, basically, and that will help reproportion the dress for you. But yeah, really, really like this one. I've paired it with just a basket bag. This one was from Mango as well and some gladiator sandals from Marks and Spencers. I will link them but I think they are sold out. They certainly went in the sale so I will try and find you an alternative one. Okay now let's look at this dress when it's styled incorrectly. Now this is the type of thing I see all the time. So let's go through the outfit. First of all I have taken my jewellery off. So there's no sort of niceties. I've done the buttons up here. I always see this. You need to show more flesh. I've paired it with a rucksack. You wouldn't believe the amount of times I go to clients' houses and I say, what bag have we got to go with this? And they just say, oh, well, I just use my rucksack because it's easy all the time. Then if you use your rucksack and you're wearing a nice dress and you've got these big heavy shoes on like that, that is what it's going to look like. Now you have completely aged yourself. Okay, I'm hoping that you can see that. Now the shoes here, I'm not sure you can see close enough. 
So this sort of old fashioned style I still see all the time. Now round toed flats are coming back into fashion. However, you've got to wear them with something more modern for them not to look old fashioned on you. The other thing about round toed is they will make your legs look stubbier, shorter, okay? So when you see that, um, so my friend Leone, for example, she's in one of my videos, six foot tall, got beautiful slim legs, amazing in round toed flats. All of the influencers you will see on Instagram and YouTube, generally speaking, tend to be very slender with slim legs they will look great in a round toe shoe and because they're comparing it with modern people with modern clothes but if you're going to try and mix an old-fashioned shoe and then style your dress in an old-fashioned way then this is where you're going to come unstuck i'm afraid the other mistake i see is pairing it with the flats okay so again, the influencer can get away with this because they've got everything else on. They've got the jewellery on, they've got the position, they're photographing it in a nice way. They're showing their flesh. But just like this, how a lot of people are wearing things, this is what you will look like, okay? Let me show you perhaps on camera how I transition that. So first things first is we are going to open up the neckline. General rule, when you open the neckline, go one further than you think, okay? So I'm going to open it up again. I don't want my boobs falling out at all. I don't want my cleavage on show. And that's the type of thing that people say to me all the time. And I agree, I'm the same. A lot of times on shirts like this, the button needs to come in between where the actual buttons are. So simply get a pin and put that pin there. But even going to that effort of pinning it there is going to look better than that. Also, when you open it up like this, you're going to reduce your bust size. And it's just generally going to make it look smaller. Like even with my small bust, it looks like it's starting here and ending up underneath. Can you see that underneath the belt? But when I open it up like that and show more skin, then that bust line isn't really on show in any way whatsoever. So opening that up has just pulled out my necklace. So put my bracelet back on and there we go. Hopefully the picture is there looking a lot more stylish than I did a couple of minutes Before I move on to this dress, something I forgot to tell you is that I am having a big sale of lots and lots of the clothes that you will have seen on YouTube in the past year. So we're doing it to raise some money. We're supporting the Ukrainian effort. We have a lovely family here ourselves. So my poor daughter has been given the job during the six weeks holiday to put everything on Depop. So as soon as everything is ready to go, I will announce it on my Instagram page. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will put the link down here. Please do so. And I'll also also send a message on YouTube as well, uh, like a private message to all my subscribers of when that is going live. So I'll give you a little bit of a heads up before it's available for everybody else. But really, really good prices. Most of the stuff is brand new and has only been worn by me for maybe a couple of minutes to shoot a video or take a photograph. So I hope that some of you might be able to benefit from some of those clothes. So I'll let you know when that's happening. Okay, but back to this dress. This is a lovely one. This is from Accessorize. It is a 100% cotton. It's short. Let me just head back there. There we go. Well, I say short. It's just above my knee. And as I always tell you, I'm five foot three and a half. It's really nice and floaty and airy. It has got another cotton lining underneath that. Why I think some of you might like this is really thin on the arms. Look, you can see my arm kind of through it, which means it's going to be really cool. Again, I know a lot of you suffer around the arm area and aren't comfortable showing the arm, or even you're in an office environment with aircon or something on those lines. So you still want to look summery, but um, not in like a tank top or something. So I think this is beautiful. It's got the little puffs on the shoulders there. Very sweet. Loving this detail around here. The only 
The only thing about this dress is if you have got a really big bust like that, you have to make sure that your this line is coming at the top of your bust and not sort of halfway down. So basically if my bust was like that, this line would look quite awkward. So I would say you can afford to go up in sizes in this. This one is a size small and it fits me quite nicely. I've paired it today with just some brown flip-flops. I think I might have to move my camera so you can see. There you go, they're just the flip-flops from Dune. And I know they went out of stock in Dune, but they've definitely got them in John Lewis. And if they do have them elsewhere in stock, then I will link them for you. But that's just like a really nice, timeless, effortless look. Now, for some of us, myself included, I don't have particularly slender legs. I'm a cyclist and um, I've got a shapely leg going on. So what we have to be careful of here is if we are a little bit broader on our leg area and we've got a big baggy dress on, the, the eye, it's just human nature, you go down to the floor, you see a slightly lo uh, larger leg and you assume that everything under here is larger as well, okay? So you've got to be really careful with the shoes that you pair it with. These shoes are allowing us to see as much as my foot as possible. Okay. If I was good to go and put a really dark, heavy shoe down the bottom area, that is going to make my legs look even wider and less slender, which means overall I would look bigger. So let me just see if I can demonstrate that for you. Can you see that there, the difference between the one foot and the other foot? Oh, sorry, it's, it's so hot in here that I've got all the doors open, but it's also a little bit windy, which is why the curtain keeps blowing in. Okay, so as you can see, the dark shoe there with the strap across, then that is going to be less flattering than a shoe like this that is showing my entire foot. It's almost like my leg starts from there and you get an extra sort of three or four inches to make your legs look longer and slimmer. Where here, it's cut off right there, okay? So you're making your legs look shorter. Even if I was just to take that strap off there and if I was to hide that, that would even look much better. And particularly with this shoe, I've got a little bit of a platform and so my legs generally now will probably look a bit better in this one because I've got some height as well going on. Now what you also don't want to do with this type of dress is put more of a court shoe, uh, so I think you call them pumps in America, like a, a, a shoe that you might wear to work, for example. That is then going to date this little dress. And to be honest, other than maybe a platform wedge or something, that's all I would put with this type of dress. Some absolutely beautiful Reese shoes here, for example. Those are one of my favorite shoes to wear with a really nice dress. I still wouldn't wear those with this dress because these are almost two going outy shoes um, and these would look really nice perhaps with some long wide leg trousers or a more formal dress but if I was to put these with this dress it, the two just don't marry up correctly. I don't really know any better way of saying it other than they're too posh for the relaxed nature of the dress. And when we do put a more refined shoe with what is meant to be a more casual dress, that's when we get the styling wrong. I'll put them on for you so you can see. So I've actually put two different types of shoes on. So we've got the lovely, gorgeous Reese wedges on this foot, and then we've got a Zara chunkier shoe on this foot. Now, personally, I don't think either shoes, it's not that they don't go, but they don't give the right styling look that I'm trying to achieve with this. This is what I see a lot of mums doing, where this type of dress, leave it for the daytime, leave it with flats, leave it with a cooler basket bag, don't put a posher handbag with it like that. This is what is going to aid you, I'm afraid. I do think the Zara shoe being a chunkier shoe goes better, 
And it's not that I don't dislike either of the shoes. The shoes are both mine. I like both of them. But combined with this type of dress, it just doesn't work. And that's, this is the position that a lot of us sort of 40 something ladies go down and that's how you get it wrong. Now just another quick trick if you do like a dress like this but you are worried about perhaps looking a little bit bigger than you are in it, simply get a cross bag. I've just got this one from Bowdoin at the moment. I'd probably go for more of a casual style. I think this is still a little bit with the gold on. Um, it's a little bit still too refined for this type of dress. But the point is when you cross over like that you're going to almost halve your um, area and it's going to create interest across the dress rather than it just looking sort of big and square. So always grab yourself a cross bag if you're feeling a little bit bigger. Now this dress on the other hand is made for wearing with a nicer more evening shoe and handbag. Can you see the difference? We've got shape in this dress, it's more of an evening style of dress, but I'll show you how I could wear it with my gladiators as well and it actually works equally as good. So at the moment I've got one side tied up the top there, but I have tied the other one down the back there. So that's choice, so you can go completely plain on the strap or you can have that bow detail. I'm, I quite like the plane actually, I think, I'm not sure, but either works well. So let me just pan down to the shoes for you. Okay, so I've kept one of each on at the moment. So the chunkier shoe there, I think probably gives a more younger, trendier type of vibe, where the re-shoe there is perhaps a little bit more elegant. And this is what I often say to my clients is know your audience, know your venue, know what is going to be appropriate for you. I'll just show you this really lovely bag that is from Boda. The fact that it's got the gold on the straps just elevates it just somewhat. I think it was only about £40. I'll link it in the description box. And just in the interest of symmetry, I've just put popped the same Zara shoe on with it like that, just to show you. But I think this dress is beautiful. It's a mix of viscose and a small bit of linen. It feels beautifully soft. But uh, this would be a dress that I would actually keep for myself because I think this would be perfect for a holiday that I've got coming up in October with my girlfriends. Just really simple and easy. This is the sort of thing that it doesn't look like you've made much of an effort, but is still quite effortlessly stylish. Next we've got this beautiful dress that could be from somewhere like me and M at maybe £150-£200, but it's actually from Cup She. Oh, I just realised I haven't got any shoes on yet. I'll rectify that for you in a second. But just really lovely, really flowy. I, if anybody watched my holiday video, very similar to a style that I took on holiday with me. And I just think they are so easy for a lot of people to wear. And the broidery anglais fabric is just beautiful. Note how I can say that. Thank you to one of my online clients who helped me get around saying that. Um, she used to be a newsreader and she, she told me how to say it right. So, broderie anglais. So, I can say it now, which is a good job because it's all in the shops everywhere and it's beautiful. This is 100% cotton. It's got a lining in as well. But do you know what? Just keep this dress simple. Perhaps put a crossbody bag on if you feel the need. But equally, just pick up your basket bag, some flat sandals, neutral in colour, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to think about anything else with this styling. Just chuck it on and go. So definitely one that I would recommend. Oh, I'm wearing it in a small, by the way, and I would say it is quite narrow. I perhaps would have liked to have tried on a medium had I have had the choice, just because I like these to be quite big and baggy. So I would say if you're in between sizes, size up on this one rather than down. And don't forget your jewellery. 
I am wearing these pieces with everything and the jewellery does make a difference. It will differentiate you between just wearing a white dress and looking stylish in a white dress. Now what you don't want to do with this long dress is pair it with your standard running trainers and your black rucksack. As much as I love these trainers, it's the wrong combination for this dress. Let me show you something in between, so not quite a, a sandal but not a heavy trainer like this and something that you could still walk around and collect kids in and things like that. So here we go, the same level of practicality, all I've done is added on a cross bag rather than the big rucksack and I've changed the heavier trainers, like I say I love, but they just don't quite go with this dress to a little bit more of a feminine trainer, a wedged one from H&M. I'm not sure if they're still available but I have already found an alternative so I will link those. But there's no reason why you can't wear a white dress like that and still be really practical. Okay, so next we have this cream dress rather than a white dress. And I know some of you will tell me that you don't like wearing white because it um, doesn't go with your skin tone or whatever. So hopefully this cream one will give some people a different option. But also what's good about this one is that it affords us the look of a flowing white summer's dress but because it's shaped around the bust line here it's going to show a smaller figure rather than being big and baggy all the way over. This one is from ASOS and I'm actually wearing it in the petite range. Now I never buy from the petite range for myself personally like I say I'm five foot three and a half so I should in theory be buying from the petite range but I don't and even with this dress it's coming that little bit too short I feel let me get back so you can see like it wouldn't stop me from from buying it necessarily but in an ideal world even on me I'd like it perhaps an, an inch longer and um, it is available in the normal sizing as well it's got the lovely cut out detail on the skirt and the belt obviously helps to cinch in under most people's smallest part which is right there under the bust it's got a little split there which sort of keeps it nice and airy as well. I know a lot of you will say that you don't like showing your ankles and this is actually quite a good way of showing a little bit of leg but not really. As in you can see a little bit of the flesh but legs aren't on display like if you were wearing a short mini midi dress. And as you can see I have just paired it with my gladiator sandals again and this basket bag which has gone with every single outfit so far. For people with big bust this dress would be perfect because it's showing a lot of our neckline. I think I showed it earlier on. If I was to pull that up higher, <laughs> there we go, you can see even on me with a small bust how much bigger my bust looks because my bust effectively starts there now. So if you've got that bigger bust line try going lower on your neckline. A square detail is often really nice, it doesn't have to be a v-neck and that would make for a really flattering dress, especially if you're a bit of an apple and you've got a stomach going on here. This is going to draw attention to your smallest part. It's going to cut your bust in half and it's going to give you some volume down here if your arms or your shoulders are particularly wide and that will help balance you out. So another really, really good one from ASOS. So next we've got this dress from Topshop. As you can see, a lot of volume going on here. So when we've got the volume going on here, the waist is going to look smaller and then we're going to recreate that lovely hourglass shape. And the dress is doing that for you. So if you find you're quite straight up and straight down, a dress like this is going to do all the work for you. Now the only sort of tip I would give when you are wearing such a dress like this is I feel sort of with my hair down and the extra volume here that's just too much. So the first thing I would be doing would be to put my hair up like that. So you can see my neckline, you can see the shape of the dress and it's not too heavy here. Okay so let me just start by putting my hair up. There we go. Now that I've done that, the next step I would personally do would be to put some earrings in. 
But because I'm adding these rather large earrings, these are really old by the way, if I can find something similar then I will do, but they have been brilliant. Oh, they must be five years old, something like that, but whenever I've got my straw bag or maybe want a more casual but still a standout earring, I do use those. So I'll have a look, see if I can find anything for you. But I would put those in with this dress, but then I would take that necklace off because I think that and that and then the big sleeves is going to be too much. So there you go. So the rule is if the dress is quite big and doing all the talking, then strip everything else quite bare. But if you're showing your neckline, then it's nice to put an earring in there as well. So that's your finished look with this dress. So quite a sort of romantic type of dress. I don't know if that's the right, or if that's the right word, uh, but it feels very girly, very lovely, and yeah, a, a really nice one for an evening out or something like that on a holiday, but still sticking with a casual sandal. I still wouldn't put a heel with this type of dress. And next we've got this beautiful dress from Bowdoin. It's got pockets, we love that. I always like the nice quality in Bowdoin. They do all the sort of extra details that you're looking for. We could put the arms up like that, okay? But notice straight away how much bigger my bust is looking when I do that. So I know I'm repeating myself a hundred times over, but if you've got a big bust, that is going to make you look really, really busty. So if you pull those arms down, then the distance from here to here is less, okay? So that's what you want to do. And the arms here will help to balance out your bust. But what I would do is I would pull these sleeves a little bit longer because you don't want the bust line and the sleeve ending at the same place if you've got a bigger bust because that will make you look quite chunky all the way over. So we could keep it simple here and just keep those earrings in, keep the hair off the face like that or we could just put a little pair of gold hoops in, something like that. They're my favourite from Monica Vinada. And then probably at this stage for more for my lifestyle, which is just more casual, sort of um, le less formal most of the time when I'm not working, then I'd probably stick my hair down like that, add a little basket bag, maybe a cross bag, and I'm ready. However, look at the feet. No. <laughs> okay, quite simply, you don't put a heavy loafer shoe or any sort of heavier, bigger shoe with a dress like this. You could, for example, wear a Birkenstock, maybe. That could look quite nice. But if you're wearing your Birkenstock, which is really casual, then, you know, let your hair down, put the lesser jewellery on, and make it all casual. Don't mix your styles, don't mix the posher jewellery within the Birkenstock sandals. So that, to me, just doesn't work. So instead we would swap them up for something far more simple, keep it with a bag, and there you've got a lot more of a relaxed and appropriately styled outfit. And one last dress to show you, I won't put it on right now because I will put in an insert of me wearing it because I have shown it before, probably several times, and I genuinely wear it all the time. It's from me and M. I wear it in a UK size 8. It does come with a belt so you can choose whether to have it big and baggy. But I find I wear that dress all the time and I can really easily layer it up with a leather jacket or a utility jacket and the contrast between the heavier fabric on the coat and the dress seems to work really well where when you've got a much thinner lighter cotton it doesn't work so well I still wear it with my sandals if I'm pairing it like that. I, again, I will put some photographs in for you, but I can probably see me starting to wear more my Birkenstocks with a heavier jacket with it as the season gets a little bit cooler, but definitely one that's not just for the summer months. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. 
if anybody does need any help then we are available online to book I will put my details underneath for you and remember that I'm going to be selling off an awful lot of clothes on Depop that you've seen in my videos so I'll also put my Instagram details on there as well so you can be the first people to hear about it and maybe grab yourself a bargain so I will see you again next week thank you very much for watching